What's going on YouTube? I'm Firespin Gaming, and this is not clickbait. I have found a close to twenty thousand plus dollar video game at a yard sale, and um, I'm gonna show you how it happened. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So this is, I could, this is like a good thing. I don't even know if these are the right controllers or not. I, mean, I, mean, I know the, uh, the, the twos were a little different. This looks like a two, yeah, that's a two. Yeah, that's a PS2 controller. Um, and I have more games, but I can't even find them. These are I know, football, NASCAR, Medal of Honor. This game had potential, but... I, mean, I, I see. Look, look, I have the Metal Gear. I can't find yeah. it. Yeah. He probably had those anyway. What would you want for it? I don't know. Ten bucks? I was going to say, ten? Is that fair? Yeah, that works. I mean, where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, everything is all like we we moved from a five bedroom house to here. So okay. this is tents. This is everything, you know? Uh, let's see, I got all this stuff, like this is just the beginning of it, you know what I mean? I mean, still in boxes, okay. Resident Evil, I got yep, like PS1 long boxes, you know, uh, that, um, Sega, Rob, Rob right there, Systems, whole bunch of stuff here, this thing, Game Boy. I mean, uh, uh, original PlayStation, uh, Atari 7800, 2600 underneath there. That's a clear one. That that actually, I bought that in New York. That can actually, that can actually play burnt discs. Okay, so it's, it's okay. It's, I got it's you. modded. Yeah. So, I mean, like this is this is something that I I used to buy uh, black discs. Okay. I got you. And burn them. And then I would, you know, make labels. I was a real, you know, I was really into it. But there's another one okay. there that's yeah, not yeah, yeah. modded. Tons of controllers here. All right, where else do we go? Like I said, I got everything all over the place. Then, we, then I own two skate shops. So I got skateboards and okay. trucks and... That needs to be yeah, all these trips in here. here. Then if the all go in there. What else do I buy? I mean, they're all over the place. Did you own like a store or something? No. Oh, just look at that. <laughs> like I said, it's all over the place, so I gotta go through everything. N not a not a video game store. I owned uh, two skate shops. Okay. Um Tons of Star, Star Wars, Wars stuff all over the place. There's some more stuff there. Yeah, I, I don't do Xbox, so that we can avoid. <laughs> See, there's some more sitting over there. Um, all this. Oh, no, oh, kidding. Original boxes. Yeah, I mean, if you're willing to part you know, these with are it. just the boxes. I have the cartridges somewhere. Oh, there's a movie magazine. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's like I said, I got to locate them somewhere and put them all. But if you're with these, all right. you know what I mean? And then other stuff. Like I said, I'll, I'll that's be my project for the week. All, all right, 250. Okay. Let me get my wallet out. Because I think I have exact. Too. all right guys so here i am with my infamous garage sale find for this weekend um right off the bat we will go over here to this ps1 stuff i pay 10 for this 
I'm going to keep Sentient and Medal of Honor Underground. The rest is uh, going to Brooklyn Game Shack to be traded in for games that I do not have. So what we'll do is we'll go through the card stuff and these demos. I'll clear the table off, and then we'll go into the rest of the uh, stuff from that guy's sale. So let's begin. So right off the bat, got a really cool demo here. I love demos, if you guys didn't know. So this is like a daily news thing. So you see like Laura Croft and Spyro are having an affair. But what's really cool about it is, so this is the demo, not for resale. And apparently they sent out surveys on whether or not you actually liked the game or not. So I thought that was pretty cool. As like a collector and a lover of PS1. This is like really awesome to me. So we got a PlayStation Underground demo, a Iron and Blood demo, collector CD for Final Fantasy. It's pretty cool. This is un no, it's open on the top. Yeah, duh. Legend of Legia, Legia. <laughs> I don't know. PS One, Sega Dreamcast. Final Fantasy VII Manual and a Sega. I mean, wow. PlayStation 1 pickup. Sorry, guys. I'm a little nervous. For some reason, it's the third time I'm filming this because for some reason, my phone and computer don't transfer like 4K at 60 frames per second for some reason anymore. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. So, that's why I'm wearing a different shirt from the intro. <laughs> anyway carts so here's a glimpse of the sega stuff that was in that pink tote there's a couple ps2 games and that um drawer that i got too so here is the n64 games we got diddy kong racing mario kart 64 pokemon snap super smash brothers star fox 64 blitz Another copy of Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Party, WWF No Mercy. I believe this is the one that got sent back out for a rebattery. I think so, because it's got two USAs. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to ask my buddy Josh about this. we are just look it up on the computer real quick. Another copy of Super Smash Brothers, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Mario Party 3, Pokemon Stadium, WrestleMania 2000, Madden 2001, ECW Hardcore Revolution, Triple Play 2000, Fox Sports, and then copy of Pokemon Snap. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff, get it off the table, and we'll be back to go through the NES boxes. All right, carts are out of the way. Um, there was some long box. PS1, we got loaded complete. Resident Evil is missing its disc. Triple Play 97, Destruction Derby, and Game Day. So really cool to add those to the PS1 collection over there. All right, let's get to it. Um, I'll go through the back here we got rc pro-am zelda track and field ice hockey basis loaded a very uncommon box which would be matchbox motor city patrol mike tyson with the letter so all these games came with any poster that was in there and the baggies but other paperwork like manuals and stuff like that are not in them like and the map is not in there i was lucky that tyson letter was in there so that was i was really stoked about that because my copy doesn't have one this copy of Ghosts and Goblins is going into my collection and replacing the other one. The hang tab on this is beautiful. The box is in beautiful shape. So happy about that. Um, we'll slide these over here. And we'll go through these three real quick. So I'm pretty sure that these may be for first print run. Not sure. Um, hang tabs there. There's no stickers on them. So they must have got peeled off. But I'm pretty sure this is first print. It's got a nice big old dent in it. As you saw in a video, the guy's like smacking the boxes. I was like, no. Got Mario Brothers here. Real nice condition. Um, so what was strange to me is the guy is explaining to me how he sells on eBay. And he actually brought up WADA to me and asked me about WADA. And I'm not really the greatest supporter for WADA. I don't believe in sealed games and the market that's been created. Um, you can listen to Pat, the NES punk. He says, I, I pretty much follow him 
with this in agreement. And I don't always agree with everything Pat says, but so we got tennis, sticker seal, matte, which is the higher of them. They had matte and then gloss, so balloon fight is the gloss sticker. You see Nintendo's is glossy there. That's not matte. Um, we got baseball, which actually has a double sticker on it. So WADA on their website explains that that's a variant that you could have for when someone returned a game and they resealed it. And then we have 10 yard fight, matte black sticker seal, and then the grail. So this is the first print run test market version of Super Mario Brothers. I'm going to show you a picture here of some that have sold. This is not sealed. This is CIB. And here is the picture right now. So, yeah, this is going to WADA. It's going to be slabbed because an acrylic case knockoff from eBay is not going to pull it off. I want this thing as secured as possible. I want to thank Go Retro Go and Collector's Luck for talking to me about the whole WADA thing. And most of you are probably wondering if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to sell it. So I'm at a 50-50 here. As a collector, this is probably the coolest thing that I could ever have in my collection. But unfortunately, it would not sit in my game room. Given the fact it's worth so much, it would sit in a bank vault. <laughs> I want to sell it because I can put that money on a down payment for another house. Which is probably why I'm more likely going to sell it. Um, now, whether or not I put it on Heritage Auctions or I wait for too many games, which is the largest video game expo convention in the United States, and WADA actually comes to that, I'm really stoked about this. This is a grail piece. I will never find another one of these. I will never find anything better than this unless I find another one of these sealed or a Nintendo World Championship cart. <laughs> which we all as video game hunters realized that that it was next to near possible i mean there was a kid i think last year in kentucky that found an nwc cart for like two bucks so props to him i hope he sold it and made his hundred thousand dollars <laughs> but let me know in the comment section what you think i should do i mean i'm pretty both sided i just want to hear what your thoughts are on it um, any negative comments, obviously, are going to get deleted immediately because I don't have time for that crap anymore. Because uh, <laughs> I know this is going to pull out, like, every troll that I can imagine. But I am really stoked about finding this. I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I, yeah. So, still shook up about it. Can't believe it. You know, um... Yeah, find of a lifetime at a yard sale. So, still trying to learn more about this whole sticker sealed thing. I know it's from the New York test market. Um, balloon flight, I believe, would have been after the official test market. Because I think Chicago and L.A. had gloss stickers. I don't know. That's the problem. i got to do more research on it. And it's pretty cool that the research is at, not the research, the, the history is out there readily available so you can actually learn about these things so i know i'm rambling on i'm just excited so if you like the video please hit that subscribe button and the like button hit bell notifications too that way when i put a video up you guys will know um yeah so until next time guys happy hunting and thanks for watching